Hi guys. I'm so excited. My parcel from Brenda has finally arrived. Oh my gosh. This has taken forever to get here. She posted this on the uh, 2nd of November. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she posted it on the 2nd of November and it arrived um, a few days ago. What are we now? The 8th of December. Uh, no, we're not the 8th of December at all. We're the 8th of January. Um, I think it arrived on like the 4th or the 5th, a couple of days ago of January. So it's taken like two months and even enough to get here. We didn't actually think it were ever going to turn up. Um, but yeah, I kept hoping, I kept holding out and hoping for a Christmas miracle, thinking it'll be here before Christmas and then it didn't. And I'm like, oh, it might be here between Christmas and New Year and it didn't. Um, yeah, and then we were losing hope, thinking, oh, it's just not going to get here. And then it turned up. I was so excited when the postman knocked on the door and handed me that and I had to sign for it. I'm like, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it is here and it is from Brenda over at Your Way Crafting. And I won this. This is a, well, obviously a freebie because it was a giveaway that she did in her Facebook group. And I will post the link to her Facebook group below, as well as her YouTube channel and all her other relevant links as well. But please, 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 please do go and join her Facebook group. It's cool, super cool. There's a few different challenges going on right now in her group. And she also has a new life journal giveaway happening either happening or coming up one or the other um but yeah so please uh, join the group and um check that out one of the challenges that's going on right now i won't be taking part because one i can't sew properly for toffee um and two i just don't have the time to do it but they're doing a your life your 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 way crafting quilt and anybody who wants to take part is going to um, do like a square. Don't know how big. The measurements are in the um, event description thing. Um, but yeah, you've got to do a square, however big it is. And you sew it. It could be anything, paper, you know, hand sewing, machine sewing, anything like that. As long as it's sewn, you have to leave a certain length, a certain amount of border at the edge of your square because once it's finished, you're going to send it to Brenda. Brenda's going to um, bind it all together with the, excuse me, ribbons and what have you around the edges of each square. And then she's going to send it to Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you're watching. Please forgive me, I've forgotten her name. Um, one of the new admin team. Um, part of me wants to say Penelope. I don't think that sounds right. I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, this is, then Brenda's going to send it to her and she's going to actually do the quilt sewing over the top of it and then whoever's taken part within that challenge and done the squares will be put into a draw and there will be a winner announced or depending how many they get, there may be two quilts, maybe two winners, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Check that out, that is super cool. Um, but yeah, so I want to delve into this because I've waited so long, so long for this and yeah i'm amazed i've managed to last the last 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 bleh, managed to last over the last few days <laughs> wow um this has been sitting here basically tormenting me because i've wanted to rip it open and have a look but i'm like nope because i want to do it on camera but i haven't had chat i haven't had time and it's like <clears throat> it's just taunting me but here i am yeah, obviously I've covered relevant addresses and information up and I'm not going to, nothing to see anyway, I'm not going to flip it over because all the um, shipping information and everything is at the other side. So I'm just going to pop you on pause while I rip all this off and get inside and then I'll come back when I'm getting ready to take the journal out because I'm sure you don't want to listen to me opening that. One second, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so I've managed to... It's a good job I did turn it off because it's just taken me like 15 minutes to get the outer layer of the uh, customs bag thing that they put over it off. Um, but I've got mine and Brenda's address off anyway, so seeing as how oh, super nervous and all cutting down there, then I didn't cut through the journal or anything. But I'm just about to literally 
get it out now. So, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I've seen a little quick sneaky peek of this in her group before she posted it out. Um, but oh wow. Look at that. It is a super cool folio journal. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh. And it's magnetic. Can you hear it? There we go. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's have a look in the envelope. <coughs> so. Okay, so we have a little note here. Let me just read it first. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so yeah, I will read this out because it's not super personal or anything like that. Okay, so bright orange. Awesome. So it says, congratulations, Victoria. I hope you enjoy this folio and fill the pages of love and memories. Um, I know you're not a journaler of every, yeah, I know you're not a journaler of everyday events, etc. Hope this can be used as a memory keeper for your grandchildren to enjoy in years to come. Thank you again for participating. Much love, Brenda. Oh my gosh, that is super exciting. Yes, yeah, I am not a journaler. Um, I do make journals and I do have journals. Um, I've got handmade journals that I've kept myself, but I've also got journals like we call them diaries here in the UK, like this sort of thing. Um, these sorts of journals, um, like day to day sort of things. And um, yeah, I did used to journal a lot. Uh, this up to now is just my like youtube planner that sort of thing um so there's nothing super personal or anything in here um i will if there's any kind of important dates no that didn't <laughs> that didn't go to plan this week did it um if there's any important dates like appointments or anything like that because i will refer to this pretty much every week now um, on a regular basis every week now that I'm getting back into things now Taylor's back at school and I'm getting back into things so any important dates for appointments and stuff will get put in here any notes and things like that and goals them are my um, social media goals and stuff and what have you they will get put in here and it was kind of it was filmed but it was for family viewing only but um, <laughs> the youngest grandchild, um, Tater Pie, as you lot know him as, or Coffee Bean on Instagram. Um, yeah, he left me some goals for this year. He, he noted his goals down for this year, so <laughs> super cute. Um, and that's one of my goals, watching him do this and how he just didn't care and he just did his own thing. Bearing in mind, he's only two and a half year old, but he just did his own thing. He didn't care. He wanted me to draw around his hand, so I did that, and then he just coloured it in and did whatever he was doing um so one of my i'm watching him do it and how much fun he was doing so i made one of my goals from tater pie to be more creative without boundaries just let go and enjoy the process no matter the end result because that's his end result and to some that might be well it's not neat and tidy he's not coloured in the lines he's two and a half year old it doesn't matter but he enjoyed the process and he was so excited when it was finished that much excited when he was finished he actually gave it a kiss and when it was time to say right come on buster you've got to go now he ke he actually kicked off and cried and screamed and no 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 i draw i draw so yeah there you go <laughs> um so yeah i do kind of journal in that sort of a way i you know make no it's more of a to do than anything really but i did use to journal properly um many years ago but for, i just got out of the habit of doing it so yeah, I think when you get to a point where, like I did back then, had a big family. Um, I mean, you know, I have two children of my home, of my of my home, of my own, but I also have four stepchildren as well, stepsons. And when you've got all six kids under one roof, and it's extremely stressful. When you get 
the way I saw it were when I get to the point where every journal entry or diary, as we call them, every diary entry that I was writing was more negative than positive because they stressed me out to the max. I'd had a super crappy day. Then's the time to stop because I don't want to be looking back on journal entries thinking, well, that were, a rub you know, there were more bad times than good. So I just gave up. I just stopped. Um, but yeah, so now coming back to journals and journaling, years later and through originally scrapbooking led me to the journal side of things, uh, the junk journal side of things. Um, it were more a case of, right, I will make these journals mainly for everybody else. But the ones that I do keep myself, I'm not going to write in or anything like that. I'll just use them as, like Brenda said, keepsake memory things put photos in and yeah maybe journal a little bit about the day and the positive things but more photos and that sort of things positive positivity journals that's it so I don't tend to actually write in journals now like today I such and such a thing and this happened and that happened unless it's a very important event because I don't want to be looking back I've got oh journals but diaries I've got a stack of diaries upstairs in the cupboard on top of the stairs that stem from, what, 1995? Um, I have them before then, actually, but a lot of them went missing. Well, a lot of them didn't go missing. A lot of them I actually <laughs> um, ripped up and threw away. Um, but they stem back from, like, 1995 right through to gosh 2010 maybe 10 11 something like that when I stopped doing them uh, I stopped doing it when like I said it became more negative than positive but I actually ended up writing more um appointments down than I did writing actual journaling so yeah but anyway thank you so much. sorry Brenda <laughs> I'll get back to it now but thank you Brenda yes this although I don't know because I do this and I get journals from people I buy them or I win them or whatever a swap and then I get to say well I don't want to use them because the journal itself is a work of art and I don't want to ruin it um but yeah I will make an effort to actually put positive stuff in this journal um as well as the other ones I've got up on my shelf that I can't bear to part with um, but yeah, so as I said, let's have a look through the envelope first. These are extras, but we'll have a look through here first. We'll save the best till last. Thank you for the glassine bag, by the way. <laughs> Actually, it's not a glassine. Is it glass? It feels kind of like it, yep. They're not very easy to get hold of here in the UK. Well, they probably are, but um, the ones that I've seen are a little bit expensive. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Cute. Cute. That was a mixture between cool and cute. It just didn't come out right. I love that. Love it. I'm not sure what kit she's used. Brenda, you can comment below. Um, because I think this was a project done using a specific kit. I think she actually did this following, um, possibly following a course that she got. Um, or did. Yeah, cute. Love it. It's beautiful. I love the four um, wax seals as well. Upside down. And I've got my glasses on. <laughs> um, I'm actually at the camera's a bit lower down instead of zooming you in. I've lowered the camera so I'm trying to kind of duck under to see, excuse me, to see without getting my face in it. That beautiful kit, whichever kit you've used, please mention it below and you know if post a link to it below in the comments, Brenda. Um, if it's available like that, anyway, if it wasn't kind of like if it didn't come with the course that you did and it is just available to buy, please pop the link to it below. Oh, look, she's actually even put a tiny little eyelet through that. That is cute, super cool. Oh, little dinky envelope. Oh my gosh, there's even something in it too. I love these super cute little dinky envelopes. Oh, yay. Oh, I tell you, I'm so easily pleased. I love ephemera pieces. So cool. That is perfect fussy cutting, is that, Brenda? Look at them edges. That is awesome. 
I couldn't do that. It'd drive me insane doing that. <laughs> oh, look, Nottingham. That's here in the UK. Well, I'm saying that's here in the UK. There probably is a Nottingham elsewhere in the world. But, oh, Cheshire. Yeah, this is a UK kit with the look of it. 10 p.m. 29th of October 1991. So I would have been 11 year old. 10 days after my 11th birthday. Uh, after my, yeah, after my 11th birthday. My birthday's on the 19th of October and I was a 1980 baby. So, yes. Super cool. I love them. Love them. Oh, I could. Oh, good. Drop a line. Write me. Pen pals. Happy mail. Love me. Ink and quill. Postcard. Kind regards for you. Awesome. Letter mail. Post to you from me. Dear friend. Hello. Greetings. First class. Oh, that is cute. Emails. I love them. Usually blue here in the UK. <coughs> when you get them. I don't know if you still can, but when I used to, I used to do a lot of pen palling. Um, and when I used to do that, if I had any like airmail letters to post, when I went to the post office, I used to ask them for a sheet of airmail stickers and you used to get them free. And like I said, they're usually a bit thinner than that. They were usually like maybe this long and very thin uh, with that written on them. And they were stickers, obviously, blue and white, and they were free. So I don't know if they still are. Because, like I said, it has been a long time since I was pen palling again. That were probably around 2010 when I started that again. Um, and I only did it for about three years. But, yeah, used to... Because they used to stick them on anyway. And I used... Because sometimes I used to post put postage on myself. If I knew how much it weighed and how much it was going to cost, I just used to put, like, five or six normal stamps on to make up the actual cost. Um, but you had to put the stickers on. So instead of going to the post office just to ask for a sticker, it used to give me a sheet full of them for free. But I think they were free anyway. Like I said, I don't know if you still can, but that might be something to ask about, actually, because I use the post office a lot. So, yeah, I might actually ask because, you know, <laughs> if they're free. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. If they're still free, I might go and ask for a sheet or uh, two or ten. Um, and then I can use them myself in my journals. Hmm. I'll check on Royal Mail website and see. I don't know if it'll let me know on there. but Or I'll just ask my guy in post office because he's really nice. But yeah, thank you so much for the extra ephemera pieces, Brenda. I will pop them back in the bag for now because otherwise I will lose them. But I think I may... I think I may just use one of my groovy new tins with the clear lid to pop them in and then I know where they are. But yep, love it. Now, let's pop that up there out of the way and then you can see the journal in all its glory. And I am filming this at 7.15pm, so the lighting probably isn't as good as it should be well it won't be it's night time um maybe should have done this during the day to get the full glory of it but i just couldn't wait any longer um but yeah so i love these colors and you know tea bag i don't drink tea but i still that is so still so cool i love the dimension on that she's used um dimensional form um yeah that is just so cool it's a beautiful beautiful kit Okay, and as I said, can you? That's magnetized. So, open that up. <gasps> Love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually part of the print. It's not stuck on. Oh my goodness. I love these folio things. You never know where to start. It's just going to go on forever and ever, is this? Um, yeah, because she showed a sneak peek of it but didn't show all of it. And like she said, I'm not showing all of it because it'll ruin the surprise. So let's start this way and work that way. So first of all, we have a long tag with some... That looks... Is that seam binding, maybe? I don't have seam binding, so... Well, I have a little bit, but I don't. I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm hoarding it because I only have a little bit and it was gifted to me. So I'm kind of hoarding it. <laughs> or is it this organza? 
I think it could be that organza. I know what organza ribbon is. I've got a load myself. It could be that. Um, but yeah, so some little um, tickets. Cool. So first of all, we've got a pocket there. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Um, then another pocket here with more stuff stuffed in it. In pocket there. Some more labels. Uh, tickets, not labels. Journaling card, another tag. Oh, I love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that is the right way. I thought I had it upside down. That is the right way. Mm, it's a tight fit, is that? But it'll go back in. Okay, so that's there. Sorry, I must remember to keep checking the camera because I go off, I get in my own world and I forget to check the camera. So we have a nice little loopy tie thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, but yeah, so it opens up and down. Oh my gosh, now my camera's not big enough. Um, but yeah, so start at the top. So here at the top, we've got a pocket here with another tag in it and some organza ribbon on the top. Cool love that and then I'll show you the bottom so again oh okay pop me up here so we have a pocket here at the bottom again with another tag and the tag matches that did that tag match that yeah the picture on the top tag matched the picture on the top pocket too sorry didn't notice that straight away okay no I don't want to go back in oh, no don't do this to me please Thank you. Okay, now I'm knocking everything over. Just going to actually move this over here. Right, put that there. There we go. So kind of try and ignore that for now. <laughs> Let's focus on this. Um, all right, so, oh my goodness. That comes out that way. Right, let's see. Um, there we go. That's the cat, uh, the kitten in the background, by the way. <clears throat> okay, so as I said, just ignore that bit for now. I'll put that there, and it's not super um, detracting. That's the one. Um, yeah, so this concertina is this way. <laughs> cool. Distracting, not detracting. Same thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so that is cool. And then, oh my gosh, let's start on this side. So we have a little tuck there when that's been layered up with the ephemera. That's cool. And we've got two journaling cards there. Cute. So pop that in there and put that back in there. Oh, that goes quite deep, does that actually? Cool. And then that goes back that way. Okay, so we have a pocket there with a tag in it. Cute. Cool. And then we have a pocket here at the side with a tag in it. Oh, I love that. That kind of looks familiar, Brenda. <laughs> Is that some of the lace that I sent you? Maybe, I can't remember. Uh, did that go in that way? Yeah, that actually went in that way. So, turn that over. We've got, yeah, still in, still in frame. That there. Okay, so, right, so we've got, that opens out that way and then we've got a little flappy bit there. So, that goes that way. <laughs> I can remove that now. I've done that. Oh my goodness. I can see me getting confused with this. So, right. So, <laughs> we have a pocket here with a tag that matches the picture. Then we have a big pocket here at the top with a tag. I love that stripey. Um, yep, so let's pop that back in there and then that opens that way. And then we have another tag here. Journal card, sorry. Journal card tags are all the same, really just different shapes. And then that opens that way. But then it also opens that way. <laughs> yep. Definitely going to get confused. 
again a tag there um, matches that and then no nope, that's not an open one nope okay so cool which way did it go obviously that way yep right so that's that bit done oh wow and then oh my goodness more floppy have we just done that <laughs> i don't know no we didn't we did that side oh my goodness yes i did that side hello kitty cat right so <laughs> confused already it doesn't take a lot to confuse me guys but seriously um right so there we are with this one still in for still in frame okay um is that a pocket or anything i don't think so um oh yeah it is but there's nothing in it okay so we've got a, a top loading pocket there um let's go this way first okay is that a pocket as well nope right so we've got a top loading pocket at this side that's not that's just a nice page then we've got a pocket there with a journaling card in it super cool unless i love these papers by the way well by the way i've said it a thousand times but yeah um then we have a pocket there a pocket here that's obviously been an envelope um and then is that no we've already established that's not a pocket because that's the other side <laughs> okay oh and here we go again oh no and then there's another one <laughs> okay so this is also a pocket another envelope here that's got oh my gosh it's got a booklet in it oh, wow cool tag shape booklet so i love that i love that print reminds me of that material and i can't remember what it's called now i really like this kit it's beautiful um, like I said, Brenda, please, please, please post the link to it below if it's available for purchase. It's a beautiful kit. Um, and obviously who it's by. A pocket there with some tagging and a journal card, a postcard journal card. Love it. Oh my goodness. Get it back in without ripping anything. Um... Yep, so it's not a top pocket or anything. Did we do that one? Did we do that side? Nope, we haven't done this side yet, honestly. Okay, so clearly there's a little pocket there. And then there's another pocket here with a small tag and another postcard journal card. And like I said, obviously it's got a full mole, so obviously that's a pocket too. And then I can see something... Oh no, I'm going to say I can see something poking out there, but just on a quick pull, it's underneath. <laughs> so we've done that. So we flip that. Right. <laughs> that way. That way. That way. Okay, we've done all that. So we flip it this way now. And I'm guessing that should have actually been... Oh, that's one of them where... Um, does it tuck in? Yeah, so it's one of them where... Oh gosh, I did it wrong. There, there, and I think that one tucks under there, doesn't it? Yeah, that one tucks under there to keep it close. I remembered! Yay! Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, I'll show the top of this one now. I think, I think I've already done... I've already done the top and bottom, yeah, because that's what holds me out. That's what holds it together, okay. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, so this then opens up for journaling space, and that is a super cool idea. I love that. Um, you've just got to remember how it goes to kind of lock it into place. And I've forgotten already, so that goes in there, that goes in there, and that tucks in there. I don't suppose it matters which way as long as you get it so that it tucks. Yeah, done that, done that. Oh my goodness, now which way does it go? Right, so that goes on there. That goes on there. 
Yes, that was on there. <laughs> and that just wraps around there. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Now we move over. Oh, my gosh, I can see this being just as much. I don't need to add that bit now, but I can see this being just as complicated. And, of course, that then folds back over on that. Hmm. So, did I do, oh, yeah, them are the tags. Okay. So now we're on this. And I believe, yes, this is a signature. And it is a sewn-in signature. Yep. It's, yeah. Okay, before we get to that, oh my gosh, we have another one. As I said, that is a collage one that's already on there. I've shown you this. Oh my God, I'm confused again. That should be in there, shouldn't it? Should it? Mm. Yep. <laughs> yep, that goes in there. See, I think, does it? Because that seems really thick now. Right, take the signature out. Okay, that does go in there. I had the signature in it, so the journal signature. So, right, okay, that sits very nicely in there now, and clearly there's your spine. So that's that section. Oh my god! <sighs> Seriously, Brenda. <laughs> right, so now we're on to the journal section. That's it. I couldn't do the one to go through. So this is a journal and that does look suspiciously like some lace that I sent Brenda. It might not be, but I do have some like it. Um, but yeah, so then we have a signature, so a journal section. So lovely, beautiful journal card there. And it's a sewn in one. It's not like a, a TN style, a traveller's notebook where you can slip it in and take it out. But yeah, that's cool. Again, such a beautiful kit. Love the paper. Oh, I love the feel of that paper. <laughs> One upside down. I do that all the time. <clears throat> I love it. Adds character. I love that pink paper. The feel of that pink paper. Okay. Beautiful is that. She knows me. Well, it wasn't specifically made for me, obviously. I just won it, but oh, it's lovely. I love pastel tones and stuff like that. So, yeah, I love this. As I said, it wasn't specifically made for me in mind. It was just made, and then she um, offered it as a giveaway in her group. Oh, I love it. Love it. So we've got a nice little journal there, as you said, perfect for sticking pictures in and stuff. And the, like the string, some string as well from binding it in so I can put some charms or something on there. Cool. Right, now, <laughs> now we've got to navigate this side. <clears throat> I'm going to... I don't have a clip big enough. I'm going to where is it? Oh no, I've moved them. Um, I've moved them, so I will steal this one. I will just clip that there for the time being so it doesn't keep bouncing back on me it wants to fling back this way okay so let's do this oh, again <laughs> okay so we have an envelope here um with some tags tucked in that's cool is that because the envelope is on this side it's been attached as like an add-on or a tip-in as some people call them but the flap of it has been glued there, you know, so that you can tuck things under it. So that's there. And then, oh, look. Cool. So some, a lovely letter. Ephemera. Nice. It's been in, tucked in that. Um, but let's go this way. Another pocket there with some ephemera in it. 
So another postcard journal card. And then oh nice trifold tags. Cool. That way. Lovely. Oh I love this. Oh that's is that vellum? I think that's vellum. Um beautiful, it's got a pattern to it. So little vellum pocket there with some small ephemera pieces in it. So a ticket, a little probably a letter of some kind or something supposed to be, and then another ticket there. And then behind it, I'll take these out to show you. Behind it is a bigger piece, but also a pocket. Super cool. I like that idea. That's a good way to utilise a bit of extra space for tucking things in. So pop that in that way. Um yep, so then we have a little journaling spot here, folded up. Oh that's pretty. Cute. And then we have <coughs> a bigger one. That's lovely. Nice. Just, like I said, just tucked in there at that one at the back. Put it back in. There we go. Um, right, so this now opens this way. So we're onto this side now. Move it over. Again, another envelope. Oh no, that's... Sorry, that's that one. <laughs> yeah, confusing myself again. Um, that is another pocket at the top. Oh, there's something in it. I so said that is another pocket at the top. Oh, I wonder if there's something in the other ones because whatever's in this is... Oh, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to say whatever's in that is quite low down, but it's not. All right, so it's on the other side. I'm trying to get that out. Um, right, it's not a pocket because it folds back on itself. Okay, okay, sorry, Brenda. She's probably screaming at the camera going, no, it's not. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Right, so that's that part. Oh, this is awesome. This video is going to be an hour long, I'm telling you. Um, okay, so another pocket there with the envelope. Oh, which she actually hasn't glued together. So it opens out for more journaling space or, as we've established, photo space or something like that. That'd be quite cool, that. Open it out and little photo there, maybe. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then that goes that way. Another one here. Yep. Cool. I could glue that together if I wanted to and actually make it an envelope to tuck a picture in instead of gluing. That way the picture could be removed. Another one of them double vellum pockets there. Fancy vellum pockets. That's cool. I like that idea. And then we have another writing space. Cool. Tucked into that back one. Like so. And that in there. Um, and then this then folds that way. Uh, yeah, we haven't done this yet. Oh, we're coming to the end. <laughs> um, wow. So, okay, let's stay going that way. Let's just pop that under there too. And then it doesn't spring back on us. Okay, so again, the noise you can hear in the background is the kitten playing in a box. Loves his Amazon boxes and packaging paper. So yeah, we have another one of those. It lifts up and lifts down. So again, there's the top. Wow, that is proper stuffed. Love that. A three-layer pocket with the look of it. So tag there one pocket there so the second pocket is has these two in just to show you one two three pockets so that's the beauty oh little envelopes and they have been glued together cool 
and then they have again more writing space in or small picture spaces of that I love that colour, that's gorgeous. Get it out. <laughs> Brenda, I think you've done a me. You have, you've done a me and glued it in. Oh, got it. I do that sometimes. Too impatient to wait for the glue to dry and end up gluing it in. I got it. I got it without ripping it. Oh, I love that one. That's gorgeous. I love that colour. Yep, everybody knows blue, turquoisey blue, sky blue, sea blue, you know, aqua, whatever, blue, just blue in general, my favourite colour. Um, so, yeah, and pop them back in to that second pocket. And then this third pocket here also has a journaling card in it, which is cool. Uh, let's get it. And get it back in like that okay so that's the top bit the bottom part let's move it up there oh you're not you still can't see no no come back there we go <laughs> the bottom part has a side pocket so we have some more tickets a small tag and a, another, oh that same letter from the other side but in miniature cool love that beautiful and it's full of roses and all I love ro roses and butterflies so back to the middle now okay now the kitten's chewing my paintbrushes so we have oh I love that so we have oh oh I've, I keep meaning to try this um we have a pad basically we have a little up tuck belly band there so you know and then she's made her own little pad little notepad by putting the papers together individually and then squish them and then presumably you've done it this way you paint glue on it kit sorry guys then you paint glue on it um could be anything pva i mean it, it might even work with fabric tack and things like that but you usually use pva glue when you paint it on let it dry paint it on let it dry paint it on and let it dry so you've got a couple of layers and then the idea is that you can I'm not going to, but then you can, if you want to, tear it off like a normal notepad. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that's an idea. Thank you for reminding me about that. Well, <laughs> not obviously intentionally, but yeah, awesome. Because that's an idea that I keep meaning to do and keep forgetting about. But that is a super cool little notebook and there's plenty of pages in there. Is that one of my papers too? Did I send you some of my papers? I can't remember. Anyway. Yeah. So. Again, just the kit pages and then some tea or coffee dyed pages as well. looks suspiciously like paper that I've done I know I sent Brenda a package quite a while well last year a while back and I think I did put some of my paper in that um yeah whether it is or not I don't know but <laughs> obviously like I said she didn't do this with me in mind it would just obviously matched what she were doing but if not that's awesome because it you know very similar to what I did Well, or what I did, how I dyed some of my paper before, but that's definite, that's not a print, that's genuine dyed paper. But yeah, that is cool. 
and then of course she's just used the back page of this to slot it under the up like top belly band down there like that which makes it just sit there without falling out so that is super cool now let's see can I remember right, there's the spine so I'll get that in there that folds up there yeah that folds up there that folds down there that wraps around there that wasn't too bad that's the journal section yep spine spine okay so they're separate entities um, clip you back on there and move over to the last bit oh my gosh that's cute oh my gosh sorry guys this kitten um yeah so this doesn't tuck or anything this is a post box and look it's got a cute little flap on it um with a tag in it that is cute i love that yeah that is really cute i love it yeah so a little tag in there and then pop your flap down awesome and then yeah last two now so we have pocket here with another envelope in again not glued so i could glue it myself or i could just leave it open like so and then last page not oh, nearly yeah because i've already shown you that nope i've actually already shown you that <laughs> oh my gosh i don't know no i haven't no i haven't right yeah so that concertina is that way okay I haven't already shown you that um yeah so then we go this way again another envelope did i show you that or is that the same oh i can't remember anyway <laughs> that could be the same as the other side so yeah another envelope there if i've already shown you these and i'm showing you again i'm sorry guys i'm confused right now <laughs> but yeah so another one of those in that little vellum pocket there and then another little writing space and then that's it that is the bit that pops over the front so wow yeah that is super cool so that then folds back to there okay oh yeah i did i probably did show you that I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> that folds onto there like that. You can't go that. Yeah, that folds onto there like that. The journal just hangs out in the middle. That folds into there. That folds up into there. And that then. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm lost. Help me. Um, what am I doing wrong? That way. That way okay yes i did show you that didn't i because it went that way did it yes it did that way that way that way and that way yeah okay nope doesn't feel right what am i doing wrong brenda No, it can't go like that because it's out of place. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Did that fold in there? Oh, I suppose it could have done. Nope. Alright, it's going to take me like three hours now to figure out how to get this back. Oh my gosh. That's that and that's that. It doesn't even really matter, does it? There. There. Back inside. There. And that on the front. Oh my goodness, I don't even know now. Or I've disturbed it one or the other way. There's a magnet there. And the magnet's there, so... But yeah. 
But clearly I've disturbed everything by showing you. I don't think that folds on there, does it? No. No, because I showed you that. For oh, I don't know. Brenda, help! Well, that definitely... Anyway, I'll, wa <laughs> I'll watch the video back. I'll watch the video back myself to figure it out. That definitely goes over there like that. Yeah, I'll have to watch it and... I'll have to watch it back and figure it out myself. But anyway, there we are, guys. <laughs> I'll put some ribbon around it. Um, but there we are, guys. There's the journal. And, oh, my gosh, Brenda, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I think I've just disturbed everything. Because it is closing it's just not staying magnet like the magnet's just not keeping it down so i think obviously me taking things out and putting it back in there we go that's it yeah me taking things out and putting it back in has just disturbed everything so if i maybe err in it as well so if i flatten it down there we are back to normal wow <laughs> oh my gosh but seriously, Brenda, that is super, super awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. It is just amazing. Pardon me. It is amazing. And to have won this as well, you know, it's just even more amazing. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, please, 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 please go and check out Brenda's Facebook page because like I said she has it's either in the process and um, because I've not been on Facebook properly for the last well several weeks but especially the last two weeks um so she posted saying that her new life journal is uh, giveaway is ongoing but I can't seem to find anywhere yet although I am behind on a YouTube video so it may have been mentioned on the YouTube video um or maybe she means the making of the journals ongoing. I don't know. Um, but she said journal giveaway is ongoing. So I hope we haven't missed it. Um, if we have, I apologise to you guys anyway. But go and join. I mean, don't just join because you want to join a giveaway. Join because a group's amazing. Um, but yes, so... What did I do with the envelope? Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Yeah, thank you so, so much, Brenda, for these fabulous fabulous goodies and the beautiful journal and yes thank you for your absolute amazing kindness and generosity by doing this as a giveaway um for your groupies um yeah it's just amazing absolutely amazing um take a picture for the thumbnail um yeah i absolutely love it it's confused the heck out of me but i still love it absolutely fantastic thank you for all the little extras as well as i said probably won't use them in this journal i will probably add those to a tin and use them on different things in general um but yeah super duper cool thank you so much i love it love 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 it and i tell you what it was absolutely well worth the wait and if this had taken another six months to come, I still wouldn't have been disappointed once I got it opened and, like, once I'd opened it and had a look. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Again, for the millionth time, thank you, Brenda. Um, and, guys, please, again, for the millionth time, check out Brenda's links below in the description box. And, yeah, um, go and watch her YouTube videos, join her Facebook group, show her some love and yeah Brenda thank you I love you so much and I appreciate you so much too and everything you do apart from Brenda doing her own things Brenda's one of my own design team members um and she just creates amazing things so this wasn't one of mine by the way but yeah so like I said Brenda please 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 pop the link to this and this and whoever the kit for this if if it wasn't part of the course that you did um please pop the link to it below and who 
whose kit it is because it's gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to love you and leave you now because this kitten's doing my head in. Thank you so, so much again, guys. Take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye!